What you said was so impactful. You took all these different ideas and strategies from all these different readings. And the most important thing is you applied them and you grabbed this one where it made sense. And you grabbed this one, you grabbed that one, and you've created a conglomeration and really your own strategy as a result of all the other learnings that you've taken in. You've really made it your own. So my question is, this is where you are now in this present moment. Let's talk about you at the beginning of this journey where you said, I have a desire to be more present in my daily life. I can only imagine it was more difficult then than it is now because you've built up this muscle over time. But can you walk me through maybe some ways that those listening and watching can practice mindfulness in a practical way in their daily life? One of the best ways to practice uh, is meditation. Uh, again, mindfulness at its, at its focal point, it's so simple. The complexity, again, is what, what takes us out of the present. So practicing meditation and mindfulness meditation, I would recommend. And I say that because there's different types of meditations. Uh, you know, there's, there's what they call transcendental meditation where you have mantras. Uh, there's guided meditations, which I do for people. People enjoy that. There's meditations where you have sound in the background. When I got introduced to meditation, which again was by Eckhart Tolle, I didn't know about all these other areas of meditation. So I got introduced to mindfulness meditation, which is just being with yourself. And so I started meditating out in parks in between appointments. This was pre-COVID. Uh, so if I had a gap or someone canceled, I'd find a park, I'd set my timer, and I would just learn how to get behind my thoughts. And I recommend that so highly because it gives us a focus on nothing. And if you can focus on nothing, then you can focus on anything. Wow. So if you start if you start building that muscle to just be, then when you start having these reactions in the world, what you learn how to do is get yourself back behind the thoughts. And that's going to alleviate because it's the thoughts that create the 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 issues, the 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 negative energy within us. It's not the it's not the silence, it's not the being with. And then when we can get to the silence then we can be aware of our experience and be with that. And, 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 and then there's a processing of it. And then the next step is to look at the judgment that we're having on ourselves. And when you can start removing that judgment, seeing our own humanity, well, then the emotion processes and you'll, you'll feel it go through your system. And essentially that's mindfulness meditation is a practice of holding enlightenment, which you know, it's not a mythical place. Enlightenment is, is awareness void of judgment. It's objective observation, truly. I always say it's seeing a tree without calling it a tree. Quieting the mind. That's what enlightenment is. That's what monks that will meditate one to three hours in the morning, one to three hours in the evening. That's what they're building that muscle of. And then what happens is you can start getting the muscle, you can start getting the mind to quiet itself whenever you would like. So that's, you know, really that is the most practical exercise we can do. And I will say this because like for a lot of my clients, I'll give homework of 10 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes meditation, which is, which is nothing in the world of practicing meditation. Yet that's such a struggle for most people in this distractive uh, world that we live in today. And for anyone who would want to tell me, oh, I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? I got a busy schedule. I don't care if you have seven kids. And five spouses and 20 siblings. If you say you don't have time for meditation, I can tell you what, anytime during the day, if you got to take a number two, you got time. <laughs> if you got time for that to happen, then you have time to do one of the simplest yet challenging things for your mind that is most likely one of the most beneficial mental exercises we could ever practice and will yield, in my opinion, one of the greatest benefits to living life or, or at least handling the added weight of what life is nowadays and the responsibility, especially if you do have, you know, kids and, you know, it's joking, of course, on the spouses and everything. Uh, you know, if you do have a lot going on in your life, it's going to allow you a larger capacity to be with that. And that's going to help you. And then you'll see that, oh, I didn't, I didn't know navigating four kids could be a little, a little bit easier. I didn't know I didn't have to be stressed out by 2 p.m. 